Playing for Coach McKissick um, prepares you not only to, to be a, a college football player, but it prepares you for life. Because, um, you know, he, he tries to teach a lot of life lessons. Get knocked down in football, you're going to get knocked down in life. You've know, you got to get up more than you get knocked down. At first, like my junior year, and I, I may have been a little naive, I didn't realize like that Coach McKissick was a well-known person across the nation in, in sports, especially in football. And then my, my senior year, he broke the record that had been previously set for most games won. And it, it kind of hit me a little bit like, wow, I didn't realize Coach had won that many games. And then when I went off to college, we, I would get questions all the time about what it was like to play for Coach McKissick and uh, be at Somerville High School. And I was like, wow, it was a really big deal to be at Somerville High School with Coach McKissick. You know, being a coach under him was, uh, was, was really rewarding because uh, you know, he, he let us coach. You know, he, he never tried to tell us what to do or tried to change our, our philosophies. He was a coach's coach. He was a player's coach. Um, never cut anyone. Coach was relentless. Uh, one of his sayings was, do it right, we do it right. Do it wrong, we're gonna do it long. Playing for my grandfather was extremely hard um, because he wanted to make sure he never showed favoritism towards me or my brother or my cousin who actually played for him as well. So he was a little bit harder on us. He, he didn't let anything slide with us because uh, he didn't want anybody to see that you know, he was treating us like a grandson. He wanted to make sure that uh, he treated everybody the same. I, I remember how um, congratulatory he was. Um, he was always like the first one to pat you on the back or pat you on the helmet when he did something well. You know, he, he, if he saw you around the school, he'd always ask about your grades. He spent his entire life leading people, leading not just a football team, but leading um, the coaches of, of the other sports and you know, leading the, uh, being a leader around the schools. Yeah, Co Coach was just a, an extremely humble person. Just no starch in his collar. Uh, always treat your fellow man with, uh, with respect and dignity. And um, great friends with, um, with, with his staff, but also great friends with, you know, our opponents. Well, one of the funniest sayings uh, since I've become the head coach that I get from him is, he goes, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but I'm gonna give you a suggestion. I'm, I'm proud that I can carry on the traditions that, that he created. Um, through 63 years, so it's, it's an honor for me to be on that sideline knowing that he's up there watching. At the end of the day, coach is what Somerville is all about, how the community still is, where, where it looks out for each other, and, uh, and that's really byproduct of, of Coach McKissick. One of the, the, the best family memories I have are those late night Friday nights after games. Uh, he put us in the car, we drive to the beach, and then uh, he'd spend all day with uh, my brother and I on, on Saturday. Looking at it from a coach's perspective now, as a head coach and how busy that we are and how, all the preparation that goes in it, it, it really amazes me how he would take the time during football season to kind of step away. Coach McKissick's had an impact on generations, you know, spanning, I think, six decades. Um, and, and, and all positive. I mean, it, it, it's, you'd have a hard time finding someone around town that was a part of a football team with Coach McKissick that doesn't have a great story to tell about him. I'm never going to let the, the players not know who he is. All the tradition that he built, you know, why we do things the way we do them. I want to thank you for the example that you set for all of us coaches, uh, but also mostly for your players that you've had for many, 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 many years. I just want to say thank you, Coach, and congratulations on your award. I, along with many other players that have played for the Summerville Green Waves, under your leadership, wish to thank you for the life lessons you provided and the investments made in us that built champions on and off the field. Congratulations for your many accomplishments and for the Lifetime Achievement Award you're receiving tonight. I think he deserves a Lifetime Achievement Award for not only how successful he was as a coach, but how he lived his entire life. The coach deserves this award because he is the coach. I don't think he coach football to win a bunch of football games. I think that he coached football to have a good impact on young people and as, just as a proxy to that, he happened to win a whole bunch of football games while he was doing it.